Hey guys, so this is going to be a very different video, as you can see. This is something I've been planning to do for a few months now, but as you can see here, I have my own Indiana Jones uh, Raiders fedora. Uh, I bought this off of Advantage. Um, extremely good company. I, I love this thing. I've had this for a little under a year now, and you can see it's taken some wear and tear, but that is not the fault of the hat company. This is partially my fault. I've taken this on a ton of adventures, but let's get straight into the hat shaping. So as you can see here, uh, I've completely uh, punched out all the shaping. You can see I just kind of pop it out. Um, and really what we're trying to do is we're trying to see what lines we need to go over when we steam the hat. Um, and steaming the hat, that's going to round out the shape. And we want to do this because it will make it very easy for us to put the bash back in. That's what you call it. And then also shape the crown, as you can see. So before we shape the brim, we want to flatten that out. Um, but before we start the steaming, just puff it out. So also for the steaming, you'll need a pot and some hot water and also something round. I just used a bowl because uh, it's easy. Now, uh, you just need this because it makes it really easy to smooth out parts as you're uh, steaming the hat. So again, we really want uh, round as crown as possible. So really what I'm going to do here is I've got a few bowls. And I'm just going to take this off camera. Sorry that you can't see. It's really messy. Uh, but I'm just going to boil some water and put it over that steam. Now this is going to heat up the hat. But also the moisture is going to loosen up the fibers inside the fabric, inside the felt. And then that allows you to take uh, whatever your round thing is. For me, I'll just go with a bowl. And you just kind of push up against that specific part of the hat on the crown and then kind of use the palm of your hand which is a very naturally round part and you're just trying to like rub against each other and just kind of round out the hat uh, that sounds a bit complicated I know but it's pretty easy um, to do this you really just need patience you're not gonna get through this without it um, overall the unshaping took me a little under an hour um, to get it as good as it was, but uh, you can see just from a little bit here. It's already looking better You can see still the lines from the previous creases um, There's two lines on the front pinch because I actually already reshaped this hat However, uh, I wasn't very happy with the shape of it. I didn't do it right the first time So that's why I'm making this video so that um, I can use resources to provide people with an overall perspective and if they want to reshape their hat and kind of refresh it up because when I was trying to do this myself uh, I couldn't find a lot of videos on how to do it so I think that's really my main motivation for making this is I want to give people um, the right resource uh, just kind of an all-in-one video to know how to do this themselves so you can see here I've done a lot more work on the hat it's probably about 10 minutes more work um, and it's already looking better. The brim still has the flaps in it, and you can still see there's still the front pinch lines, but no need to worry about that. Those will eventually get smoothed out. Now, technically, you could smooth this as much as you want or as little as you want, but if you really want to have an easier time doing the bash when you reshape it, I'd 100% recommend getting the entire hat as smooth as possible. And really what you're trying to do is just kind of make it look like a smooth dome. Now if you're wondering where I got my resources to make this and do this myself, uh, I actually got a lot of this from Herbert Johnson Hatters. They have a whole YouTube channel, they have a lot of tutorials, uh, but they're all kind of just individual short few minute videos and they don't really go over the whole of hat making and cleaning. So I wanted to go through and make my own video again just make it all one cohesive video. So again, you can see me here smoothing out the hat. And if you're wondering why I leave the camera so much, that's because I am going to my pot of boiling water and I am rounding the hat by putting it over the steam. So you can see here, uh, lines are getting a little less, a little more faint. Uh, it's getting harder to see them. So 
what you're going to do is just keep putting the hat over steam and when you do that just bring it back put your bowl or whatever round object you have and smooth it out by pressing the bowl against the palm of your hand all right so i've completely finished rounding out my hat um, i've let it dry overnight um, so that the fabric can stiffen up um, you can see i'm just kind of pushing it on parts you can tell um, the back is a lot smoother than the front that's just because there's not a lot of bashes and pinching in there but honestly it looks a lot worse um, in person than it does on camera uh, so don't be discouraged if your hat it doesn't look completely smooth um, mine came out fine with these lines still in it um, it's honestly something you don't have to worry about it's perfectly fine we're just gonna get the bash in it'll look so much better but next step after this is we're gonna flatten out the brim okay so for flattening the brim you can see we have a rounded out hat but the brim still has uh, that kind of swoosh in it and we just want to get that nice and flat so what i have here is uh i have a large sheet um this is just kind of protect the countertop um, I have uh, an iron here I filled it up with water um, I've set it to steam mode that's very important and then the last thing here I have a pillowcase now this is what we're gonna put over the hat so we don't damage the felt as we iron it um, but I also use a pillowcase because it's two layers of fabric and it just makes it so that less water gets into the hat as you do it um, it's more just kind of a protective layer and not um, it's more of just a protective layer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that over it and just take the iron and just like you are ironing clothes, just run it over back and forth a few times, like 10 seconds, take it off, steam the iron, get all that steam out, and then just take off that sheet, turn the hat a little bit, and you're just going to keep going across. Now, this doesn't take as long as smoothing out the crown. Uh, but it will still take a little bit to get this completely flat. Uh, you don't technically have to get this completely flat if you are doing the same bash. Um, I was also adding in the turn, uh, the Raiders turn. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just instead of doing the hat straight on, you turn the hat uh, to the left so that the bow, which is normally on the side of the hat, is more towards the front. Uh, but anyways, I'll explain that later when we shape it. So you can see I've gone over, uh, brim's very flat now, doesn't have any bends or swooshes in it, and it definitely looks a lot better. Uh, you can still tell there's a few areas that still need to go over, so I'm going to keep going back, uh, running over those, uh, just trying to get it as best as I can. Uh, as you can see here, I did have to move around my fabric a little bit because there was a lot of water. Um, didn't get any on the hat, it was just kind of leaking through on the sides where the iron directly touched the fabric. Uh, so, you know, every 20 minutes or so, you might have to move your fabric around, but overall, not a big deal. You're just trying to keep your hat dry, and you're just using that iron to use the steam and stiffen it up. Now you also see here... Um, I've completely finished smoothing out the brim. Uh, something else I did do is I put some of the fabric over the top and went over it with the iron just to kind of uh, completely smooth that over. Didn't really do that much, kind of an optional thing. Uh, I would still recommend it, just make sure you use that protectional fabric. So I'm just going to completely uh, dry this out. Uh, not a hard thing, just leave it out to dry and then we'll come back and do the bash. All right, so before we do the bash, uh, one last thing, we just need to clean this hat. Now, as you can see, uh, very dusty, a lot of dust bunnies and dirt on it. Uh, so, this is very easy, just need some clear tape, uh, you know, packing tape, uh, it's really the best option, um, and then some scissors to help cut the tape. So really, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a big long piece of tape and cut off a strip. Now we use the tape because it won't hurt the felt, it won't tear out the fibers, but it's just strong enough to pull off those uh, little bits of dust and hair and anything that's accumulated on the hat. Uh, probably won't get a lot of dirt out, 
uh, but it's still a good tool to clean up your hat. So it's pretty simple. All you got to do is just uh, lay it out flat on a piece of the hat, uh, smooth it over, and just pull it off. Don't worry about damaging the hat. You won't. Uh, I went. Uh, I was very tough when I did it down because I really wanted to clean up my hat. Uh, I backpacked with this hat for two weeks and it was totally fine. So I'm not worried about roughing up the hat. I just kind of want to clean it up a bit before I put in the bash because it's a little bit easier um, and it'll look a lot better. And if you're thinking about not doing this step, trust me, totally should. It makes your hat look so much better. So you can see I've gone through and it already looks a lot better. Uh, we just need to make sure to get the underside of the brim because that is very important. Uh, so just make sure you get this same thing. Go all the way around the hat and get all that dust off. All right, so you can see here, I got everything. Uh, I got all the dust off and it's looking pretty good. So I think finally we're ready for the big moment. Uh, let's go put in the bash. Um, it's gonna be a little challenging, but nothing too hard, uh, pretty simple. So let's go get that done. All right, so when doing the bash, um, same thing as when you're smoothing it out. Uh, so you wanna have your pot of boiling water just to get that steam. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the middle dent and then move on to the two front dents. Now this is really important because this is where you choose what style of uh, hat you want from the movies. Uh, I personally am going with the Raiders because it has that more iconic front pinch. It also has the turn. Now if you want the turn, it's not hard to do. You just basically take the hat and you turn it a little bit to the left. So you just take your hat and you want to kind of, if you imagine the front pinch, you want to move that bow more towards the center uh, so that instead of being, uh, for example, above your ear, it, the, it'd be a little more uh, in front of your head. Uh, not too much because it might ruin the shape, but just enough to where it gives their brim that nice swoop. Uh, of course, you could do the style from any of the movies. Um, it doesn't really matter. You could technically do this with any hat. Uh, the dimensions would be a bit off. I bought this as a Raiders hat, so I just want to keep it a Raiders hat. Um, but honestly, you can do whatever you want. It's, you know, it's your hat, and I would totally advise mixing it up. Um, but right now, keep things simple. I'm just going to do the same style that I bought mine in put it over some steam, and then put your thumbs in the center. So put your thumbs in the center and just kind of draw them out to each end. Now it'll look a bit weird, but don't worry about it. Um, you just want to make sure you pinch off each end, kind of uh, get that shape, uh, kind of use your hand, kind of karate chop the top, and then come in from underneath the hat and just kind of squish it together. Now you can see from a side profile that's already looking pretty good. Uh, just like the Indiana Jones hat and something important to keep in mind here is you want to make sure the back of the pinch is lower than the front of the pinch so that kind of sounds a little complicated basically the front of the hat needs to be taller than the back not too tall uh, just remember uh, it should have a very slight angle going down it so you can see uh, I'm just kind of uh, working through this uh, dent here, just trying to make it look as good as possible. Um, so I think now we can move on to the side dents. So basically before we do the side dents, we're just going to kind of make sure the memory of the pinch stays in there. So just keep working through the hat and pinch each end to make sure it stays in there. And we kind of want that stiff, tall appearance. So now when you're doing the front pinches, uh, you're basically going to kind of like you're throwing a baseball, uh, just three fingers and kind of pull in uh, after doing it. So you'll see here, I steam the hat, I push in with my uh, middle finger and my thumb, and I use my uh, pointer finger to kind of streamline that. Now obviously I'm going for a Raiders look, so I'm going to make this pinch super tight down the front and all you need to do for that is just kind of 
uh, pinch with your two fingers to kind of start that pinch and then what you can do is take one hand uh, kind of front of the pinch and just kind of drag down with the other hand so I'm just kind of pulling that out of the way and what I do is I just drag down the pinch and just keep working at it because I really want that pinch to be super strong Okay, so now that we have the front pinch in, we're gonna work on these side dents and just kind of uh, make sure the shape is nice and crisp. So we kinda wanna flesh out these cheekbone parts here. So basically you're gonna use your hand on the inside. You're gonna use your hand on the inside to just kind of uh, sturdy it up and then use your other hand on the outside to just kind of pinch along. Uh, I go back to the front pinch here a lot, so just remember keep working that pinch. Uh, if you want that Raiders look, just give it that nice uh, front crisp pinch. That nice crisp pinch there on the front. So I'll come back to the side dents here. So I'll steam it, and basically what I do is I put my hand on the inside, and then I just kind of pinch up that cheekbone part on the side, and I'm really just making that line nice and sturdy, uh, making it a really uh, crisp line, so it's really defined. And that's all you're trying to do here, is you're, sh you're just trying to define that. So I go through and I do that, and you can see uh, it's already looking a lot better there. Um, I'm just trying to make each side a little more defined, as you can see in the movie. Uh, and you can see here, that's already looking much more like Raiders. Um, and the last thing you're gonna do is you can see the corners um, of each side dent. I don't show it here, but you wanna go through and you just wanna pinch those and kind of make a V on each side. Um, but other than that, we're pretty much done here. Um, last thing we need to do is just push in on the side. So you're gonna kind of when you steam the hat, just kind of turn it all the way around, trying to get a nice even bit of steam all around the sides, and you're gonna push in. Now what this is gonna do is this is gonna help give the brim its swoop. Um, but before that, we wanna make sure to give it a little bit of help first. So I go through and you're just gonna kind of drag your hand along the front. You're trying to get that nice, a uh, little bit of a subtle swoop because of course when you push it on the sides it's going to amplify the curve so again just kind of drag your hand along the front not too much you just want a little bit of a curve don't worry about it it'll get a lot better once we do the sides now after that we're going to uh, push it on the sides as I mentioned before and that will help uh, kind of give it that nice swoop from Raiders. Uh, if you're doing any other style from any other movie, you don't need to do this. Um, so you're just going to do what I he do here now, which is you can't see it, but you're basically rolling the back of the hat. So you're kind of uh, pushing in and kind of rolling the back so it gets that kind of uh, uh, U-curve along the back. As you can see, I'm just going along the back, pushing down and pushing in towards the center of the crown. And that's looking pretty good. Um, for Raiders, it's pretty subtle. If you're doing any other movie, uh, you really want to get this back part uh, pretty good. Um, Raiders is really the only one where it's not that much defined, uh, which is kind of weird because Raiders is the movie where the hat is the most defined. Um, but that's top for another day. So you can see basic shaping is pretty much done. So now what we're going to do is like I said, we're going to steam the hat all around the sides and we're just going to grab it by the sides and push in. Now you can hold it here for like five seconds, depending on how long you want it. I held mine for about 15 and I just kept doing it a few times until I was happy with the shape. Now, of course, you can keep working with it as much as you want, but I didn't do that much work. Uh, I wouldn't say my hat came out to be as amplified as in the movie, but I was still very happy with how it looked. Uh, you can see 
here. I'm pretty much done shaping it. Uh, but I was really happy with how this hat came out. Definitely looks better than when I first did it. So I'm just going to leave that out, dry overnight once more, and then I think it'll be all done. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so you can see here, done a little bit of extra work off camera, but overall, I'm really satisfied with how this came out. Uh, compared to the original one I first had it, you can just see how worn out the hat was, uh, how bad the felt was, it was too floppy, the pinch wasn't as defined. Um, I think that's really the key difference, is the hat is way more defined. So, I think we'll take a look with me and wearing it. So I'm here with all my indie gear on, uh, and you can see just how good that hat looks. Uh, regardless of how good I look or not, uh, I'm definitely not in the best shape right now. I was a little sick at the making of this video, uh, but as you can see, that hat shape is pretty much spot on to Raiders. It's got that uh, defining swoop. Uh, it's got that point up at the top where the pinch meets the center dent, and Honestly, now this video was super fun to make. I'd highly recommend all of you, if you have a hat and you're thinking about reshaping it, to go ahead and do that. It really freshens up the look and it just makes it look 10 times better. I hope this video helped any of you who are watching and if you made it to the end, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.